is, I think, a great concept. So everything mm -hmm. is very much influenced by your like satanic beliefs. Mm -hmm. So what may be the artwork, the the mm -hmm. lyrics, and also I think the mm -hmm. stage from what I saw on Instagram. Right. So. Um, I don't know. Actually, I didn't want to ask you about that because I think you get That's asked about that a lot. It's Do fine to ask about. No, no, it's actually fine to ask about because even, you know, I, I, as I've said before, I'm an active member of the Church of Satan and, and it's always um, sort of an honor to an extent to be able to sort of explain what it is so people don't think it's what they see um, with shit like the Baphomet statue and people just being lunatics. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to be able to be like, no, actually this is what it is. And it's actually why with the artwork and with the music that I do, um, although I use skulls on stage and stuff like that, and I'll explain that in a minute, uh, with the actual artwork, there's not a lot of like pentagrams and mm -hmm. like, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Because um, what I'm trying to convey is sort of the actual principles behind Satanism and the individualism involved in it and the ways that you can, you don't need a deity. You don't need a higher power other than yourself mm -hmm. to live your life in a way that pleases you and helps those who you care about. Mm -hmm. So that's what I try to put forth. And a lot of what I do is ritualizing to an extent, because within Satanism, there's something called greater magic. And um, what that means is everyone has rituals. Everyone, as human beings, were ritual ritualistic animals. And unfortunately, a lot of times, people use that as an excuse to put their dependence on something they can't see, on a deity of some mm -hmm. sort. Instead, with Satanism, we use it as a, as a way to um, use what we would call psychodrama. So all of the, like, say you hate someone. It disturbs your whole life. Mm -hmm. Like, you have at that point given control to that person over your life. And ritualizing those feelings can help you leave that where it is. And musicians do that all the time. We get up on stage, we scream and we sing and we do whatever and get out all of those pent-up feelings so that we can then go and just be normal people. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's an artist, though. Not everybody uh, plays music, things like that. So sometimes people can create their own rituals uh, that just help them, you know, focus that hatred, that energy, that lust, whatever it happens mm -hmm. to be, and just say, this is where I'm leaving it, and now I can just go on with my life. Mm -hmm. so, um, so that's a lot of the concept that I use within it, and I think that for a very long time, um, Satanism has been very misrepresented within yeah, right. music, you yeah. know what I mean? Obviously, because, you know, it's all about dragons and demons and, you know, it just, it's, it's, it's been co-opted in a sense, especially in music, you know what I mean? Where uh, people use it as a gimmick. They use it as something to be like, oh, check my band out, I'm so evil. Eh, you're not evil, yeah. you're just goofy, stop it. You know, yeah, so just, um, because, um, I try I to bring a little reverence to it. I, I guess, also had like the know. complete wrong image of Satanism mm -hmm. because uh, Most I thought do. it's like, mm -hmm. you know, sacrificing the animals to right. Satan. <laughs> Which is directly the opposite because oh, yeah, right. we, we are very against harming animals yeah. or harming anyone for that yeah. matter because there's no point to it. You mm -hmm. know, um, we believe in self gratification to the point of where it doesn't harm anyone else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, we believe in committing all the possible sins we feasibly can, having fun with it, <laughs> uh, enjoying our lives, because what's sin other than our basic nature? Yeah. The basic things that we are made to do, our brains tell us that these are good things, yeah. and they're fun. Yeah. So we do those, but I always come up with the analogy of, uh, that's probably been heard before, uh, my right to throw my fist stops at your nose. Mm -hmm. So okay. as long as you're enjoying yourself within the confines of not hurting others, mm -hmm. then, yeah. yeah. But what and I anyone actually... that sacrifices a fucking animal is a piece of shit. <laughs> okay, that's good yeah. to hear. But actually what I wanted to ask, um, I read on Facebook on your page that um, you posted that every time you write anything related to your satanic beliefs, you lose a lot of likes and followers. Is that mm -hmm. still true? It, I mean, it's not a lot. But okay. it, it, you definitely get them where they're like, oh, fuck no, I'm not dealing yeah. with that. you know. And I think there's still that taboo that people have. And it's honestly, it's part of the point of the name. Mm. You know what I mean? A lot of people are like, well, why don't you just call yourself an atheist? Why do you have to call yourself yeah. a Satanist? Well, that question in and of itself proves the point of why it's needed and wanted. Uh, we're not a group that proselytize, we don't preach, we don't try to convert people to what we do. You, you either are or you aren't. Mm. And if you aren't, great. As long as you're happy and you don't bother me, awesome. Yeah. I could not give a shit less. So it's much, it's very different than most religions that are always like, oh, you need to be part of this. Mm -hmm. We don't care. We don't want you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. um, and, and in that, 
um, there's that, uh, I guess, one of the ideals behind why it's called Satanism, the imagery that's used, is because it's not supposed to be for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be the breaking down of that final societal taboo, where you take on the, um, I guess, the archetype of the adversary. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, mm -hmm. um, so, and in that, you know, I, I have found that for me, um, just calling myself an atheist only says what I'm not. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And to me, that seems sort of masochistic. It seems a little self-harming to always define yourself by what you're not. That's great. Yeah. You don't believe this. What the fuck do you believe? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it would be more positive, and I find it more inspiring when people follow what they do believe, and they leave what they don't believe in the mm -hmm. fucking trash can. Who gives a shit? You know? Mm -hmm. So I work very hard to define myself by what I believe, and when I found the Satanic Bible and the tenets of Satanism and the Church of Satan, it made a lot of sense to me. And I went, okay, well, this is what I am. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, it's crazy, like, that actually is closer to my life than Christianity. Right, right, right. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. No, right, right. <laughs> <laughs>